So, here we are. In a sea of string libraries, each one promising to do what others can't, and a flatus arrives from Strezov sampling. This is quite a journey, so grab your drink and snack of choice and settle in. We'll be having a look at each element of this library and going through a bunch of patches. So first let's talk about the basic concept. Unlike most string libraries that offer the standard building blocks for common composition, like legato, spiccato, pizzicato, tremolo and what have you, this library was designed around the idea of musical inspiration being the starting point, rather than the building blocks and the articulations being placed around this starting point, allowing them to specialise and excel in different scoring situations. You'll still find legato, staccato, spiccato, pizzicato, colegno, bartok pizzicato, macato, tremolo, trills, flotando, non vibrato, and clusters here. But they're arranged and presented in a way that cuts out most of the picking, choosing, and deliberating with all the separate articulations, and the library size, and focuses only on the most appropriate, musical, and usable combinations. No samples are static, or there for the sake of being there. They were all performed with a specific intent and use in mind. So everything sings, and everything is usable. It's actually very close to the kind of string library I've been wanting to make for years, come to think of it. So Strezov beat me to the punch. It's better to see and hear just what I mean. First up is the Ensembles folder. These are the patches you'll reach for first half of the time, as they contain the broadest strokes for scoring. Thank you. 
Let me tell you something. These patches are effortless to play and butter smooth. As soon as you start noodling around, you'll want to create something. And you'll also notice that each section offers a slightly different perspective and style, but can all work together perfectly if needed. Another thing to note, and another possible reason for this library's price tag, is that the patches don't contain sample combinations or mixes. Each one of these patches is a different recorded section with its own articulation performance style. That's truly a feat to behold, and the creative instrument combinations and section sizes recorded offer the kind of palette you won't find anywhere else. Having a saxophone, piano or other instrument playing along with your string ensemble is a wonderful thing, and having a 50 string ensemble playing in unison is a great offset to the smaller, more delicate chamber and trio sections. The consistency of usability continues on from here as we look at the Violins 1, Violins 2, Violas, Celli and Basses folders. You'll notice here that each section has a unity of expression, each one having their staccato, pizzicato, legato and so on variants, whereas the basses have some different articulations that are perfect for that particular section. There's a sense of variety and creativity across the board, but there's also a sense of consistency where the articulations for each section kind of cross paths. That's genius, because it takes a load off the working composer. 
You'll also notice, as I mentioned earlier, that the flotando, non-vibrato, micato, tremolo and trills are presented in a musical way that avoids the burden of having each articulation just sitting in the folder staring at you. You've already heard nearly every articulation, but you might not have noticed it right away. The focus was put on the musical sound and playability of each patch, and that's exactly what you notice when you play. And cross string trills up to an octave? Wow. We're not finished yet though. Looking in the experimental folder, you'd expect these strange patches to contain designed samples. Instead, once again, each of these patches is a unique ensemble recorded with its own purpose in mind. Get a load of these. Standing. I'm truly blown away. And, as the icing on this bog trotter cake, we're given a great collection of designed ambient sounds to put in hybrid, sci-fi and fantasy scores. Note that each sound has from one to four elements that can be mixed or soloed freely, so when you hear a sound you like, you don't have to use it as it is every time. You can just use the texture or percussive element for example. In that capacity, I can't show you everything, so we'll just check out a handful of these. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that, my friends, is the sound of a flatus, a musical journey through a wonka factory of string ensembles. Each patch is simple, effective, and useful. The legato is smooth, and it's polyphonic with no scripting errors or hang notes. The patches that contain a full and divisi ensemble can be played as a full ensemble, and you can use the pedal to activate the divisi section on the fly. The close mics really capture the bowing noise on soft sustains and the crack and snap of the harsher staccatos. The cluster shorts and sustains also allow you to musically play your own clusters instead of relying on one-shots, something I've been wanting in a library for ages. In fact, this library has a whole lot of stuff us expressive composers have been wanting for years. There's simply no string library out there that's the same right now. Hell, you can play the jingle for New Line Cinema using the Sandy Amore violins, like this. Flatus is a game changer string library in every sense. It's beautiful. But the funny thing is, if I hadn't received a copy for this video, I wouldn't have been able to buy it at all for months. You may feel the same. Of course, Strezov plans to release a scene D'Amour section for the celli, and also provide first chair instruments in the future as a free update, so that'll definitely boost the library's bang for buck. And I believe that this library has the sound and the usability to last. I'll absolutely be using this for future songs. But still, that price may deter lower income earners. One saving grace for those customers will be the ability to cross grade if you own other Strezov libraries, so do keep that in mind. In the end, you'll have to make your decision alone on this one. All said and done though, this library really makes me excited and highly hopeful for a brass and woodwinds afflatus that matches the brilliant and creative content contained within the strings volume. The bottom line is, a flat of strings as a library is an incredible boon for working composers to have. The well thought out combination of thick ensembles, smaller tighter ensembles, and a musical ease of use will make scoring for films and getting an articulate but genuine and strong cinematic sound effortless.
And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.